Welcome back to tutorial number one where we'll be playing around with .NET MAUI label control and here inside the label control as well as text we are going to use all the properties inside the label control and make our UI more attractive like this in this uh, screen and uh, we'll be making use of a JAML language so stay tuned we'll be uh, using the beginner's technique to uh, learn the .NET MAUI controls at first and then we will be advancing towards the uh, advanced courses of .NET MAUI. Let's start with Visual Studio 2022. As of now, it's preview for me. But uh, uh, if it becomes stable and supports .NET MAUI, we are going to use Visual Studio 22 stable. And here we are going to search for template MAUI. Here I'm just going to select that template. Uh, except other templates and here you can see I'll just give the project name as LB level tutorial because we'll be exploring level control for our dotnet MAUI and here I'll just give the folder location as desktop and you can see uh, I'll be providing a folder named as create a new folder give it a name to the folder as uh, MAUI tutorials and then select that folder after selecting the folder we are going to create that dotnet maui project and we will be playing around with this level control inside our first dotnet maui project here at first we will be navigated to this ui that is mainpage.jaml where you will see lots and lots of codes so here we are going to remove all the codes from this mainpage.jaml so here uh, i'll just remove it and here you can see inside the mainpage.jaml.cs here is also some lines of code which can be removed as of now because we will be mainly dealing with level control in this project so the hot and brain of the app for .NET MAUI is app dot xaml dot cs here you can see it is starting the cell page so basically cell page is uh, something as like a cell which encapsulates our all the uis and we'll be dealing with this cell in our later part of the tutorial let me close this uh, automatic pop-up that comes up so here you can see that is encapsulating our main page dot xaml so uh, the cell is uh, the main page where uh, our application starts from and this cell is going to encapsulate main page dot xaml in this ui that is our app cell.xaml so here our main page is going to be loaded at first whenever our application starts so why not to run this blank main page.xaml for the first time whenever our dotnet maui project starts if you are not seeing any of your this windows like output window or solution explorer then you basically have to go to views and here you can see inside the uh, toolbars you can get all the source controls along with this uh, uh, solution explorer tab and you can just enable your output window by uh, clicking over inside the view so that you get all the uh, site controls as well as menus in your dotnet maui project so let's wait for some time till our first dotted maui application builds and runs for the first time great we can see the splash screen and this is the screen which is displayed at first whenever our dotnet maui application starts so i'll just uh, move the id and then it just both the id and along with the uh, our android emulator side by side so that we can live decode and here you can see this is our main page.xaml where i have already told about that i'll be using this ui as my first initial screen so here you can see i'm just typing the uh, title for this ui that is label tutorial so you can see here uh, the label tutorial is coming at top and the property is title so we are going to give the title for our main page.xaml so that it looks good for our tutorial so here you can see i have just uh, added a control named as label and giving the text as something like hello and then old then exclamation that's all so here you can see a nice little label is being presented inside the ui of our first dotnet maui project that looks good 
Now we are going to play around with different properties for a control that is our level that is our view so here I'm just going to change the color of my label to red and you can see like the hot reload works for our XAML and we'll get our red color of label if you want some custom color in your label control then we'll just open up our browser and search for hex codes so here I'll just search for hex colors so here uh, it will present me with the any of the url that you would be pre presented so here you can just copy and paste any type of random colors that you really like so here i'm just going to take this hex color that starts with hash so here we can just replace it with the hash and then uh, followed by the six digit hex code so that we get our as expected color now we'll play around with another property named as as font size and you can see here we have lots of options to be selected here i'll just keep the integer property for the font size but you can select mini micro and everything that you really uh needed for and here you i have given the integer value for the font size so that our font of that level becomes larger now we'll play around with another property name as character spacing here you can see each character in that whole statement changes to the spacing that I really intend for and here I can give two three and anything as I like so that we'll just have some good spacings between the uh, letters now it's time for playing around with another uh, label property so i'll just uh, close it so this is also the way to open as well as close the uh, tags for our level control just like your html if you want to put a space between the hello as well as old and hello goes to above line and old goes to the next line just this line of code that is and has 10 and then a colon is going to let your two text go to the next line to each other so i'm just going to put the character spacing as zero and you can see i have given a space over here so that it merges and then uh, uh, gives me as exact output that i really want so here hello is at top line as well as uh, old is on next line that's because of this line of code and has uh, 10 and then colon so this is what we really need to put those two words within that same label uh, one after another next line here you can see I'm just going to use another property named as line break mode and uh, here are three six properties for our line break mode uh, property and let's uh, play around with trail truncation and you can see our uh, text has been compromised from tail and if we do a middle truncation then it will be compromised from middle but in order to implement it I'm just going to remove this uh, next line of code that comes up and along with that we need to put some a uh, little bit of big characters so that uh, it uh, gets filled with the ui so that it gets truncated from middle so here you can see it truncates from the middle so that's why it is called as middle truncation and then uh, we can play around uh, with the uh, character wrap so that it wraps uh, from uh, within that two lines so that uh, our uh, text can't be uh, compromised within that same ui so that is our head trans truncation and then no wrap means uh, here it it will just get uh, disqualified as well as uh, compromised within that same ui let's put this middle truncation as of now for our text to display let's play around with another property named as text decoration and here you can see we have three properties non strike through underlined and you can see we have a very nice text decorated with strike through as well as underlined just like our hyperlink so uh, you can just play around with uh, those property as of your own so let's let me make it a default as uh, underlined now let's play around with another property named as uh, text uh, transform and here there are three properties default uh, lowercase as well as uppercase here uh, here you can see i'm just transforming the whole text as uh, upper transformation as well as the lower transformation so that all the text becomes lower so it is very important whenever you are doing multi-platform application and you want all the text to be normal looking so here text transform equals to none will be the default one 
uh, that is going to be the uh, platform specific whatever the level is going to take the uh, text transformation control from so here you can see the vertical option as well as horizontal option can also be employed yeah, and to make that whole your level ui to the center so you have two properties vertical option as well as a, a horizontal option horizontal option is going to take your whole text to the center whereas vertical option is going to take that whole uh, text to the center of the screen vertically and that's all for this tutorial now we have uh, pretty much played around with the label control and let's meet in our next tutorial where we'll be exploring buttons control that's all for this tutorial now